Greetings, everyone! Welcome back to another exciting, brand new episode of Pokemon X! Welcome back, guys. So, if you don't remember what happened in the last episode, basically, we had to go get a Poke Flute from, I think it was called the Perfume Palace. Uh, it's a very big and uh, fancy uh, mansion, I guess, right? Uh, so yeah, we had, to get to, we had to get the Pokemon Flute from that because there was a Snorlax blocking the bridge uh, to the next town over. And, uh, that's where we left off, right here. Like, we're, uh, on the route heading to the next town. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So that's basically what happened. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Alright, so double battle. Uh, alright. Let's see how we, uh, fare out in this one. Mona and Paulo. Alright. Oh, shoot. Alright, so they both have Smeagol. Smeagol's not my favorite Pokemon, because he is kind of hard to beat. Uh, they copy the, your moves, and they do, like, more on you. I don't know. So let me just go straight in with the Leech Seed, I guess. Uh, Pidgey will do a Gust, because I think... Never mind, that doesn't attack both of them. I thought that attacks both of them. Uh, let's do a quick attack, you know? On, on the other Smeargo. Smeargo. Did I say Smeagol first? I meant Smeargle, not Smeagol. That's, that's a different Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, also Psychic. I think, yeah, they know Psychic, which I don't like. Like, what is that? The Psychic does a pretty strong attack. But that did nothing. Well, at least I seeded him, so, uh, I'll regain my hearts back, so, which is good. Uh, let me go with the Razor Leaf. Yeah, because that attacks both, which is really good. Uh, yeah, let's do a gust on this other one there. Oh, nice! Next level. That's really good. There you go. We got seated again. All right, cool. That razor leaf did a lot, though. I wasn't even like really paying attention. Uh, yeah, let me do another razor leaf and do a quick, uh, quick attack. There we go. There we go, and defeated. Okay, so we won. Alright, awesome. Let's go. Alright, so I received a thousand dollars. Nice. Oh, oh, Pidgey's evolving. What? No way. Alright, uh, sure, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with Pidgey evolving. Let's go. Alright. Pidgey's evolving, yeah. Into what? Uh, not a Pidgeotto, I think it was a Pidgeot. That's next. I think Pidgeotto's the last evolution. I'm pretty sure. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, P oh, okay, yeah. P oh, Pidgeotto. Oh, okay, so Pidgeot is the last one. Uh, yeah, Pidgeotto. Alright, nice, nice. Super glad that happened. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Good. Alright, so let's, uh, let's move on. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna give, uh, my Froki some action here. Because he's only at level 14. And everyone else is at, like, level 16 to 18 right now. Uh, yeah. So I think I'm gonna take, uh, have my Froki do some action here from on. From on out. Or whatever you call it. Can't talk today. Don't know why. Uh, <laughs> Desperado, do you know, uh, about this building? It's called the Battle Chateau. And it's famous for being a place where trainers gather to improve their skills. If I learn even more about Pokemon, I'm sure I'll be able to defeat Kalos' eight gym leaders. Uh, yeah, thanks for your information. Um, I think I'll do the battle sh battle chateau like later. Uh, not right now. I kind of do want to continue with the story for right now. You know. 
if you all don't mind, I'd like to have a Pokemon battle with everyone. Now, how should we pair up, hmm? Let's go with Tierno and Trevor against Senpai and me. Uh, sure, we'll battle. It's, that's kind of random, but sure, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll battle. Okay, Senpai, since we are neighbors, we might as well battle together, right? Okay, <laughs> sure. Uh, cool, I guess, I don't know. Alright, let's go. Pika Pikachu. <laughs> Alright, so we're sending out... So she sent out Fletchling, and I sent out my Froakie. Alright. Uh, let me use Water Pulse on... Actually, no. Let me use Quick Attack on Pikachu. Oh yeah, that, that did so much. <laughs> oh man. Oh, wait. Sorry, my uh, thing is like this. Hold on. Let me just fix it there. Right, there we go. Alright, I fixed my screen. It was a little off center. He's using a sword dance. That's okay, I guess. I don't mind. It does boost up his attack, though, but eh, not by much, really. Funny how he doesn't use his Pikachu on me, since I'm a water type, but okay. <laughs> like, why don't, like, yeah, I, I, I guess, yeah, you're right, because Fletching is a, a normal and uh, flying type, but I mean, like, I'm a water type, so it'll probably do more. I don't know. But how is, how is it, how is hers a Quilden already? Oh, right, because level 16, that's when your Pokemon evolves. I, I forgot about that. Oh shoot, okay, yeah, that did a lot. Uh, well, clearly it did, because he's the other. He's electric on water. That's what I was just saying before. <laughs> Alright. Well, I think I'll be fine. Let me just swap my uh, yokai. I mean, not. <laughs> not my yokai. Let me swap my Pokemon. This is Pokemon, not yokai. Watch. Get out of here. Oh, uh, yeah, let me take out Skato. There we go. I didn't even need to take out a Pokemon. Serena. Serena's got this. Alright. <laughs> and Skiddo leveled up. Alright, cool. What level does Skiddo evolve at? I don't remember. I need to check that out. I I have a, like a little... I actually do have like a strategy guide book for Pokemon X that I got when I was like 10 or something. Like uh, it was like a long time ago when this game first came out. And I, I, didn't, I didn't even have the game. I, I didn't even have the game until I was like... I don't know, like, uh, 13, uh, right? So, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I'm sorry, I'm stuttering. I didn't even have the game yet, so, but I had that strategy guide because I thought it was cool. Uh, okay, so he sent out Flababy, let me just use Razor Leaf. And, uh, yeah, so I, I've actually been using that for, like, that's how I know, that's how I knew how to get, uh, uh, Skiddo on Route 5. Because, like, I, yes, I could have searched it up online, like, uh, what's a good grass type and where to find it, but it's just like, you know, I got that booklet, right? I gotta use it for something. Anyways, so yeah, we're doing some serious damage here. Let me just do, use a tackle, and I think that'll be it. There we go, defeated. Whoa, now that was a nice move. So you can't learn everything just from the Pokedex, I see. <laughs> Alright, oh wow, so we got 3,000 Pokebucks. Pog. Oh, Froakie's evolving. You know, I don't think I'm ready for Froakie to evolve. Like, I do like his second evolution, but I, I'm just, I don't know. I'm sorry, I just gotta press B on this one. I'm sorry, I, I don't want him to evolve yet. Not, not yet. Like, at least, like, when he gets to, like, level 17, you know? But, like, this? I don't, I don't think he's ready. I'm sorry, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys wanted me to level him up, but I, I just don't think he's ready yet, you know? It sure was interesting to see how different each, each, each trainer's style is. Uh, well, 
I guess we should head to Ombret Town then. All right, let's head to Ombret Town. Let's go. Uh, wait, where do we go? There's a cave right here, but then there's also one right here, I think, right? Uh, yeah. Which way do we go? Also, I just noticed this. Uh, I can use this, right? Yeah, because I gave um off camera. I gave the HM cut to my Charmander. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be like a TM or something here. Nope, just a regular item. Oh, silver powder. All right, that's. I don't know what silver powder does, but I'm assuming it's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, so which which uh, which hole do we go in? I didn't I didn't mean to make that sound weird. Uh, which cave? Which bit of the cave do we go in? That's better. Uh, let me check my map. I don't know if my map will show where I need to go exactly. It doesn't. All right. <laughs> this okay. So connecting cave. All right. So let's go in. Uh, we'll see what we need to do. Uh, connecting cave ahead. This is the shortcut to Silage City. Uh, the Umbret Town shortcut is southwest. Okay, so we need to go to Umbret Town. That's the other way. Okay, so it's it's up here. All right, all right. So who knew reading reading signs could actually help? Uh, I actually never really read sign the signs in Book One. Oh, so uh, Zubat Roost. All right, so hold on. I just need to see if my Pokemon are all good in health. Froakie isn't. Froakie. Uh, let me just, uh, I'll just, um, heal up Froakie real, real quick, you know? Oh, shoot, was that it? Wait, ho hold on, hold on, hold on. Was that it? That's all? Nothing? I, 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 I even walked past this person. They didn't even want to battle with me. Okay, <laughs> uh, fine by me. That's, I, uh, I like when, oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I like when I don't really have to do a long battle. Oh, it's an Axew! Oh! That's cool. I, I don't want it. I don't really need it, but... That's pretty. That's still pretty cool, I guess. Uh, I'll just skip over it. Again, yeah, I, I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need an Axew. Uh, even though its evolutions are pretty cool. But, still, I don't need it. I got, I got plans for other Pokemon ahead. Stop right there! Who's this? Oh, it's these guys. Ahaha. <laughs> we didn't mean to surprise... I don't... Ahaha. Uh, <laughs> we didn't mean to surprise you. How are you and Skiddo doing? Haven't you wondered how a single Pokedex could uh, possibly cover a region as big as Kalos? Well, it can't. That's why we're here to ha power up your Pokedex. Oh, okay. Oh, so we're in the coastal region of the Pokedex... Of the Pokedex... Of the Kalos now. We're in the coastal bit of the Kalos region now. Okay, okay. Cool. Alright. So, the coastal Kalos Pokedex will, uh, will be on your Pokedex menus. Alright, alright. So, epic. New encounters help people and Pokemon grow and mature. Well, we'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage. How kind of them. Alright, so where do we have to go now? I'm just going to skip over that uh, Pokemon area there, uh, the tall grass, you know? Yeah. Uh, I don't really care about that item right now. I guess I'll just skip over here, right? I think so, yeah. I'll skip ahead into the video until I get to where I need it to be. Alright, there we are, so Ambrit Town, alright. Hi there, neighbor. I'm, su I'm assuming this is, uh, yes, uh, Serena. <laughs> this is Ambrit Town. Yeah, I know. I saw the sign. <laughs> you just go through the aquarium to get to Silage City, but first we should go to the fossil lab and have them tell us about fossils. We might even learn something about those mysterious stones related to Mega Evolution. Cool. I'm just gonna hop into this Pokemon Center real quick. Wait for me. Welcome, future archaeologists. You are drawn here by the mystique, by the mystique of fossil, no doubt. My name is Serena, and this is Desperado. We're researching Mega Evolution, and we are wondering if you know anything about it. Oh ho! So you're profes oh, so you're Professor Sycamore's students. I've heard about you. 
Mega, mega evolution, you say? I'm sorry, but all I know is that uh, that it has something to do with the, um, with mysterious stones. Still, since you're students of the professor, you must know uh, about Pokemon fossils, correct? Uh, actually, I don't. I don't. How unexpected! I would have thought Professor Sycamore's students would have no base would have known the basics. Listen well, fossils are a legacy of Pokemon from distant past. I think you should definitely go to the dig site and see the real thing. Oh, I see. Well, if you don't know anything about Mega Evolution, then hold on. Pokemon that. Oh, sorry, I burped. <laughs> Apologies. Hold on. Pokemon that can be restored from fossils just might have something. I mean, oh wait, this is the girl talking. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing the all oh, that guy's voice. I didn't know she was talking. Uh, yeah, let me just continue. From fossils, just might have something to do with Mega Evolution. The assistant by Glittering Cave, right now, uh, might know about that. What should we do? Well, since I'm already here, maybe I should go talk to that assistant. Are you going to Glittering Cave, Senpai? Uh, well, I guess I have to. Since it, that is the way that you have to progress in the game. Obviously. Uh, so yeah, let's go to Glistening Cave. Is it just over here, or do I need to go somewhere else for it? Spike's Passage. Is this it? Is this where I need to go? Hang on, let, let me just see for a second. Hold on. Uh, I'm just checking the map here. Yeah, okay, it is. It's a Glittering Cave. Wait, was it Glistening or Glittering Cave that I need to go to? It was Glistening Cave. Or, gl no, it was Glittering Cave, I think. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I, th I think it was Glittering Cave. Because I don't think there's such a thing as Glistening Cave here. So, Glittering Cave. Alright, so let's hop on this Rhyhorn. And, uh, get going. Yo, I'm riding a Rhyhorn! Epic! <laughs> Alright, so I think we are here now, at the cave. My Rhyhorn is just being annoying, and is going to be in my way on purpose. So I, I think this is the cave. Uh, Glittering Cave. Alright, so let's just walk around here for a minute, I guess. I don't know why I looked off to the side. Uh, I guess we should go this way. I guess we shouldn't go that way. Um... Oh boy, yeah, we should not have gone this way because there's a soul rock here. All right, okay, I'm just gonna run. Is this where we need to go inside there, or did I just? Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm inside something here. I'm inside a cave, and uh, who is this guy? What's this? A cutscene. All right, <laughs> a cutscene started, and I don't know who this guy is. What's happening? Well, well. What do we have here? A nosy little trainer has come poking around. Listen up. We're the fashionable team whose very names make people tremble in fear. Team Flare. Team Flare's goals is to make it so we're the only ones who are happy. We don't care one bit about what happens to other trainers or Pokemon. Get out of here, kid. Don't you know not to play with fire? Yes. <laughs> you don't? It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter, though. Someday, everyone on Team Flare is going to get burned away. Anyway. So that guy just, uh... Okay, so that guy just, uh... Rudely, uh... Stopped me or shouted me away. Um... Okay, well, I think we're gonna deal with him. Or deal with them, if there is any more. I hope there's not. Uh, so yeah, I think we're gonna deal with him in the next episode because that is it for this episode guys uh yeah i'd just like to say you guys thank you so much for making it to the end if you did and thank you so much for watching uh and yeah i'll see you guys next time uh be safe uh don't do drugs and uh yeah see you guys later all right peace